Okay, so I thought I'd walk through a step-by-step -step again of balancing a redox reaction in acidic or basic solution. They're pretty much the same thing, except again, if we're balancing in a basic solution, we have a final step at the end. So this was on our practice paper. I believe this is uh, 5B. So this wants to be done in a basic solution. So again, we're balancing in a basic solution. So I need to split up into my two um, half reactions. Now technically, it doesn't matter which is which. You just split it in half. I can look and say, hey, I want to keep the aluminums together and the nitrogens together. And then you go ahead and follow our process. I think it helps a little bit to be a little more engaged and just say, okay, you know, what in fact is going on? And we can check with our oxidation numbers. And just to double check, just make sure you, you know for sure one of them. Like here, I've got oxygen is minus 2. And so in nitrate, with an overall minus 1 charge, that means my nitrogen has to be a plus 5 in that situation. On the other side, hydrogen is plus 1, so that means my nitrogen is minus 3. So right away I see that nitrogen is going from a plus 5 to a minus 3. So that, in fact, is being reduced. So I know that the oxidation reaction is happening with the aluminum species. You could go through and find all of the oxidation numbers if you wanted, minus 2, plus 1, plus 3. But again, not necessary. Okay, Even doing the first set wasn't completely necessary, but I think it helps a little bit. Um, so again, just break it up into the two half reactions. So we'll start with the oxidation, like we figured out. But again, it doesn't have to say oxidation there. Aluminum becoming the aluminum hydroxide complex ion. All right, well, the first thing I have to do is make sure that the non-oxygens and hydrogens are balanced. So yes, I have one aluminum on both sides, so we're good to go there. So now I go into my O charge, oxygen, hydrogen, charge. So first, I see that I have four oxygens on the product side. So I have to add four waters on the other side. So now my oxygens are balanced. So now I need to balance my hydrogens. Four waters is inputting eight hydrogens. So I need eight hydrogens to come out on the other side. There's already four there in my complex ion. So I just need to add four more, and I add them as hydrogen ions. So my oxygens are balanced, my hydrogens are balanced, the aluminums already were balanced, so now I just have to balance the charge. So on the left-hand side, water and aluminum neither have a charge, so my charge is zero. On the right-hand side, I have a negative one, and I have a positive four, so overall, I have a plus 3 charge. So in order to combat that, I need to add 3 electrons to the more positive side. So now both sides end up with a charge of 0. It doesn't always have to be 0, but both sides have to have the same charge. So my overall balanced equation for the oxidation half, or for this half of the problem, four waters plus aluminum makes the aluminum hydroxide complex ion four hydrogen ions and three electrons so the other half reduction i've got nitrate turning into ammonia i have one nitrogen on each side so that's good so now i go into o charge oxygens hydrogens charge three oxygens are going in so i'm going to have to add three waters on the product side so now my oxygens are balanced so now I have to balance my hydrogens I have three from the ammonia and I have six from the water so that's going to make me add nine hydrogen ions to the other side hydrogens are balanced oxygens are balanced nitrogens already were so now it's time to fix the charge. So on the left hand side, my reactant side, I've got a plus 9 and a minus 1, so I'm over here with a plus 8 charge. 
ammonia and water, zero. So I have to add electrons to the more positive side to make sure both sides have the same charge. And so I'm going to have to add eight electrons to my reactant side. And so, again, my overall balanced equation for the reduction is eight electrons plus nine hydrogen ions plus nitrate makes ammonia and three waters. So now I have to combine these two. So overall, I need to combine my two half reactions. Again, the goal, get rid of the electrons. So I have eight electrons going into the reaction. I have three coming out. Hmm. So what do I need to do? I guess my common factor is 24. So I'm going to have to multiply the top reaction by 3 and the bottom reaction by 8. Big number, I know. Don't be scared. So this way we'll assure that my electrons are canceled out. And so when I go ahead and combine now, I will end up with... 3 times 9, that is 27 hydrogen ions plus 3 nitrates. Then on the bottom, I will have 8 times 4, 32 waters plus 8 aluminums. And that is going to produce... What do we have? Three ammonias plus nine waters. Three times three, nine waters. Then from the other reactions, I have eight oops, of those aluminum complex ions and 32 hydrogen ions. Boy, that looks complex, but it's okay. We're doing it the right way. Now, this would be done if we were balancing in acidic solution, besides cleaning up some like terms on both sides. But remember, we're balancing in basic solution, so I'm going to have to add hydroxides based on how many hydrogen ions I have. But we can see that I have hydrogen ions here and here, and I have waters here and here. All right. And yes, there's my arrow so I can separate my reactants and products. So I want to clean that up a little bit and make it easier on myself. So I can get rid of all 27 hydrogen ions here and subtract them from the product side. And I can get rid of all nine waters on my products by subtracting them from the reactants. So overall, right now, my reaction is simply 23 waters, 32 minus 9, plus my 3 nitrates, plus 8 aluminums, is going to make the three ammonia, the eight aluminum complex ions, and five hydrogen ions. All right, so all I did there was clean up my like terms on both sides, and so again. This would be my balanced reaction right now if I was balancing in acidic solution. But I'm not. I'm balancing in basic solution. So my last step here is I have to add hydroxides to both sides based on how many hydrogen ions I have. So I have to add five hydroxides to both sides. And over here, the hydrogen and the hydroxides come together and make five waters. So are we done? Boy, we sure would like to be. But I notice again, I've got five waters on my product side. I have water on my reactant sides. So I can subtract five waters from the 23 there. 
So lo and behold, my overall balanced reaction, 18 waters plus the five hydroxides that I put in, plus eight aluminums, plus three nitrates will make eight of those aluminum hydroxide complex ions and three ammonia. Yay! And now you can sit there and bask in your warm fuzzy feeling of accomplishment for tackling that problem. Hope this helps. Good luck on your quick check. See you soon.